A skeleton was found during construction work at the Castle Lena in Hannover this summer, 322 years after the Swedish Count Philip Königsmark disappeared. Can it be him? It was suspected that he was murdered because of his love affair with Sofia Dorothea. Unfortunately, Sofia Dorothea was already married to the powerful George Ludwig, who later became King George I of England. At the University Library at Lund University, Sweden, you can follow their love story. More than 300 love letters between them are kept here. Well, they were donated to the library in 1843 by a, a Swedish nobleman called Jakob Pontesson de la Gardi, who was an avid collector of archive material from Swedish noble families. 300 letters, isn't that unusually a lot of letters in only two years of correspondence? Well, not really. People wrote letters every day, several times a day in the 17th century. and The mail was delivered several times a day. It was the primary means of communication between persons. When they write letters, suddenly they start to write in cipher. Why? Well, I suppose they, they needed a secret code uh, to disguise the sensitive information. After all, it was an illegal um, love affair. Sofia Dorothea and Philip Königsmark were planning to run away together. But someone gave them away and the love affair was exposed. And after a nightly visit to Sofia, 29-year-old Philip Königsmark disappeared without a trace. Maybe George Ludwig ordered someone to kill him. Sofia Dorothea spent the rest of her life locked away at the castle of Alden with surroundings. How did they dare to write so many letters to each other? I honestly don't know. And of course it was dangerous, it all ended badly, but I suppose they had persons they trusted who delivered the mail to each other and so on. Maybe this murder mystery will be solved, because now DNA from the skeleton is going to be compared to now living relatives to Philip Koningsmark. Mark.